Hello, we are Team Post-Op Protection, and my name is Dr. Victor, and I am here with Francisco, who has just undergone a slight operation on his arm. Francisco, can you tell us about your injury? Yeah, my name is Francisco, and I was riding my bike, and I was hit by a car. It Francisco. hurt. Francisco, how far away do you live? I live about 20 miles away. So if you return home and you get an infection, what will you do? I don't know. I, I, it's worrying me. What can I do for infections? Well, you've come to the right place. Because here, with the post-op protection team, we have developed a new bandage that is clear and also capable of detecting early stage infection. So as you go home, you'll be able to not only observe the wound, but if there is any sign of a green indicator develop, Around, developing around the wound, you know that you have an early infection and you need to return immediately. Dr. Jose, thank you very much. Can I? Four days have passed and Francisco has returned to the hospital. Francisco, what's up? Dr. Victor, I'm sorry, but it turned la verde. What does this mean? Ah, Francisco, you have an early infection developing in your wound. What has happened is the reagents in this bandage uh, have undergone the grease reaction, which is the detection of nitrates and nitrites in bacteria, and they have turned the reagent green. So th thankfully you've returned in time uh, before the pus has developed and late stage symptoms have developed, so we can treat you with antibiotics and, and prevent further infection development. Gracias. We're choosing trauma wounds because the infection rate for trauma wounds is very high. Bacteria is introduced during the primary, uh, primary injury. And in order to uh, make our bandage fit for different sized wounds, it will come on a roll like this, and it will be cut to size to fit the wound. If it's very wide, then two strips will be put next to each other. The bandage itself will be impregnated with the, uh, the reagent that changes colors. If this is our wound, it will be placed onto the wound like so, and it will stay on for the length of the healing process. The, uh, this is very common practice. The bandage stays on. If it's taken off, it usually introduces more bacteria. So the uh, bandage stays on for the length of the healing process, and uh, it's transparent so that a clinician will be able to monitor the wound during healing.